Yo, 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 you checked in the Next to Blow podcast, hosted by the South Carolina's mixtape plug, EJJ Black. Let's get it. Hey, hey, TP, hey, no, I might be next to blow, but I'm still trying to scratch All right, before we kick this episode off, I want to thank you, the listener, for tuning in and supporting this platform. So Next to Blow podcast is for independent artists that's looking for music advice about getting in the industry, maybe get your foot in the door, upload the music, monetization, or maybe a sense of direction to further your career to the next level. This platform is also to have your music heard. If you'd like to send me your music so I could play it on my podcast for my listeners to hear it, my email is djjblack at gmail.com. That's two J's and two C's. And this platform is also for late breaking news in hip hop or any genre. So stay tuned. So in this first episode, we're going to speak about why isn't your music being heard? I get that question a lot, you know, from other artists as a DJ. You know, like, why they ain't spend my shit in the club? Or why don't play my shit on radio? Or why I ain't doing numbers on Apple, blah, blah. And I always tell them, bro, it's a, like, it's a strategy to this shit, bro. It's it's a blueprint. And I tell them, like, I compare it to, like, having a Sunday meal that can last you about Tuesday versus a microwave meal that lasts you about 10 minutes. I see you got to invest in it. You got to nurture it. And, you know, I always, I always kind of start off with a few steps, about maybe about five steps. You know, the first one is having an exclusive beat. Having a beat that nobody else don't have. Because... I've had situations where I have a music, um, excuse me, music industry nights, and we had an artist that had a song. It was real good. Don't get me wrong, it was real good. But I've heard that same exact beat on the radio, so I look at it, look at it from an investment investment standpoint. Like this person has um that same beat already has his like song invested, or even this beat, and we told him that like after he got finished because it was like. You know, other uh, colleagues and DJs of that nature that was there. And we told him straight up and he understood it. So that's why I'm very, I'm very hard on telling like artists just having an exclusive beat. It's way easier to get heard. And it's almost like picking you out a bunch. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be with a yellow shirt on with a whole bunch of green people. We could put you out. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we could punch you out. Uh, I'll say the second step, just being like being organic, you know, being natural because like everything i've been hearing now even other people can attest to this everything has been slime ops choppers perkies all this stuff it's like the same exact thing we've been hearing like srt scat packs we hear all the same stuff from different artists so we just need people that's that's organic and not trying to be like other artists or sound like other artists or 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 steal anybody's flow because that's another thing that that i feel like that hinders a lot of artists from being heard you know what I'm saying? Once we don't heard another artist sound like this, we don't want to hear a 2.0 or a twin. We don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? That's just being straight up. So just do that. Uh, the third step, um, after you record, I would say is think about your marketing strategy. And not only that, think about what's your demographic, who you're aiming towards. And that's, that's much in the marketing strategy too because you got to think about your ads. If you go put money into Facebook, uh, if you go put money into having your music um, on certain promo sites, let's say my mixtapes, you want to have it on the front, put probably about 400 $500 in. If you want to put it on Spinnerella, that's another $100. Uh, you want to put it on Apple for um, for extra promo, like things of that nature. How much money are you willing to invest into this song? You know what I'm saying? So we still talking about one song itself. So once you get that part, matter of fact, for even, for another um, another piece of advice I give you, for marketing strategy if you want to find like a marketing person that can actually do that for you go to fiverr and your um if you got android which i'm pretty sure everybody got apple but type in f-i-v-e-r-r and then it's a freelance people that can do anything that you can possibly think of which pertaining to music um, or either marketing promotion and that could be your key right there too uh, so once you do that i'll say that fifth step yeah i think we like the fifth step now uh, really just think about your video because that's another thing that plays a big role too once you got your video intact or your content or something that's visual that plays a big role because a lot of people love to see that they love to see okay if he has a song out or he's having about to have a song out do each have a visual next if you're to put a song out and after that just watch it nurture just watch the song nurture you know what I'm saying don't be so quick to want to see some progress like of course you want to see progress fast but don't expect it that fast you know what i'm saying like for example jay howell the one that's saying something about you 
he had put that song out in 2019 that just like, got on the radio last year, I believe. And not only that, he had another song called Faithful that's on the radio currently. And that came out in 2019. So that's a three-year stretch of nurturing a song or even promoting. Because it was, it was on the album. But those are songs that he actually put some actually time into and some actually, you know, invested into. So that's why I say just just really nurture that song or songs like a child. You know what I'm saying? And I promise you, you'll see some kind of progress or at least your your career grow in some kind of way, even with your fans. That goes on to your marketing, too. And I'll say your key factors is, too, these would be like your star factors and help you uh, get your music heard. Lock in with DJs, lock in with your local DJs or the A&Rs. Don't be scared to send your music to people. I can tell you from like from experience for myself as a DJ when I wanted to drop, so if I wanted like features for other artists, I would hit up B list and C list celebrity artists and Instagram and stuff like that. And I would think they would hit back, but then they'll hit back late at night. And that's another thing I tell y'all a secret. Hit these artists up about three and five AM. That's when most of them not they don't have too much going on. They got more time to be on their phone. That's when I do it. And I usually get a hit back. I usually do. But just do that. Don't be so egotistic to where, oh, I don't feel like I need to hit this person or do or something like you. You need people in this industry. I'm telling you, you cannot do this alone. Get you a team. Get you a team of players that play roles in every position that you need to like further your career and help y'all all all together. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need, a team. It's hard to do this shit by yourself. Even as a DJ, I'm, I'm with a team. And it's way, it's less stressful. You know what I'm saying? So... If you don't have none of that, I just said, (laughs) if you can't invest, if you don't want to do none of that, you better have that it. And some people know what I'm talking about, that it. And I hate to even compare this person, even bring this person up, but 6ix9ine, that was an it. He was way marketable, easy. Anybody that control or keep shit going or anything that's something about it, their marketable is easy to get your music heard in. You know what I'm saying? It's very easy. It's easy to get seen by people or seen by the masses and seen by the top executive music producers, all these music uh, executives and all that shit like that. So you do shit like that, it'll work. But I preferably would go with all the steps I said the first time. But it's been a great episode. I'm glad y'all listened. I thank y'all for chiming in, supporting the podcast. I got my next episode coming out next Friday. No, y'all be good. Be safe. I love y'all.